Let's talk about strategies for playing iterated games. Games like The Prisoner's Delight, The Prisoner's Dilemma, Stag Hunts, and so on. In general, when we're playing simultaneous games, but playing them again and again against the same players, we've got an intriguing setup because we can then adapt ourselves in what is really, in the larger sense, some combination of simultaneous and sequential plays. I can see what people have done in prior rounds and then adapt my next strategy for the next round to what they've done. And so that opens up a range of possibilities. And in particular, it makes the prospects for cooperation much greater. Before we get into the details of different strategies and how they do against one another, I want to think about the difference between a prisoner's delight, a stag hunt, and a prisoner's dilemma. We've talked about each independently, but let's put that together. What exactly distinguishes them? How do I know, just examining things briefly, whether I'm in a prisoner's dilemma, a prisoner's delight, a stag hunt, or something else altogether? Here's how to find out. In a prisoner's delight, my cooperation benefits me, even if you don't cooperate. If I cooperate, I'm better off whether or not you cooperate. So here's an example from Brian Skirms. Two of us are sitting in a rowboat, one behind the other. Each of us has a set of oars. We've been out fishing. There's a hot dinner awaiting us across the lake. And if one of us doesn't row for some reason, the other will be able to row to get them there. It'll take longer, but still, it'll work. So if one does row, the other prefers to row also to get home faster. Now in this situation, we've got a prisoner's delight because we both want to get there quickly. Now if I row and you don't, well, we'll get there. My cooperation, in this case the rowing, is going to benefit me whether or not you row because I want to get there to get dinner, and so I'll get there eventually. But you have the same incentive. So if we both do what is it to our own advantage, we're cooperating and we get the best possible outcome. We get over there, we get fed, and we get there quickly. So that's a prisoner's delight. The idea is simply my cooperation, in this case my rowing the boat, benefits me whether or not you row. Now in a stag hunt, the situation is somewhat different. My cooperation just doesn't help if you don't cooperate. That is to say, it doesn't hurt me, it doesn't help me, it just doesn't have any effect, it's pointless. So here's an example from Skirms, just very closely related to the last one. Once again, we're out there in a boat on the lake. We've been fishing all day. We're hungry. There's a prospect of a hot dinner awaiting for us across the lake. But now we're sitting side by side. Each of us has one oar. Well, if I row on my side and you don't row, we just go around in a little circle. We never get there. My rowing doesn't do me any good. And the same thing is true of you. If you row and I don't, it doesn't do you any good. We just go around in a circle. We never get dinner. We both have to row. We both have to cooperate in order to go over there and get our dinner. So one's cooperation doesn't do anything. It doesn't help if the other doesn't cooperate. It doesn't harm the person, but it doesn't help either. In a prisoner's dilemma, if one cooperates and the other doesn't, the person who cooperates is actually harmed. So this is a situation where my cooperation makes me vulnerable if you don't cooperate. Here's the example. Once again, we're in the rowboat. We are hungry after fishing all day. We want to get across the lake. Now, in this case, we're both really, really tired. We could camp out on the shore for the night, but we'd rather get back to the opposite shore. But either prefers not to row, no matter what the other does. I'm so tired. You know, if you want to row, great. I hope you do. That'll be wonderful because you'll have to work for it and I won't. But I'm tired, man. I'd rather not row. And you feel the same way. So what happens? We just camp on this side for the night. We get no dinner. The idea in this case is supposed to be that if I decide to row and you don't, I may eventually get there, but I'm exhausted. I'm going to hurt the next day for doing that. And so in this case, you might say, look, I, I'd rather just stay here. Yes, I want that dinner. But actually, I don't want the sore muscles from having to do all of this myself and having to exert the energy that I really don't think I have. And so, in short, this is a situation where I'm worse off if I have to do it all by myself. And so I'd rather not. But you're in the same setting. So that makes it a prisoner's dilemma. To summarize, in a prisoner's delight, if I cooperate and you don't, I'm still better off. In a stag hunt, well, it does me no good. In a prisoner's dilemma, it actually hurts me or at least has the possibility of hurting me if I cooperate and you don't. 
So that's how we can easily summarize the situation. If I cooperate and you don't, what happens? Well, if I benefit some anyway, we've got a prisoner's delight. As we've seen, that's a situation with one Nash, Nash equilibrium. And that's the one where we both get what we want, we both cooperate. In a stag hunt, my effort is wasted. There are two Nash equilibria there, one where we both chip in and we actually do something good, but the other in which we don't. And so my wasted effort isn't even exerted. And then in a prisoner's dilemma, again, we've got one Nash equilibrium, but it's a dangerous one. It's one where I suffer. In fact, it may be one where we both suffer. It's typically one where we both suffer if we both decline to cooperate. If I cooperate and you don't, I'm really badly off. That's where I really lose. And that makes it a prisoner's dilemma. So in short, to decide what kind of game you're in, just ask, what happens if I cooperate and you don't? If I'm in real trouble, I'm in a prisoner's dilemma. If, well, that was a waste of time, it's a stag hunt. If, well, I'm still better off, prisoner's delight.